3X Lex back in the office. Let's get to it. All right, guys, here today to uh, give you some very, very early impressions of the Lex build. Um, hey, it's an incredible build. Uh, way more modern content than the original uh, Pi 400 build that I have from him. And that one had a ton of stuff. It has a superior overclock. This build is fantastic. It's just so much more modern games on here from Dreamcast, PSP, uh, PlayStation 1, uh, a few arcade classic games that weren't working before have been fixed, some more included. This build is just fantastic, man. Like, I mean, as far as like retro pie goes and the limitations of the pie, this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. I couldn't see it being too much better than this, like to be honest with you. Long story short, if you don't have this build, um, definitely go get it. If you own this cabinet, it's very easy to set up. It's This build is pretty much plug and play to be honest. Um, outstanding support, comes with a huge manual explaining everything. I just did an install video and breakdown, giving up all the game on how to uh, ins insert your card and get the um, controls configured for this cabinet. Hey, this thing is just awesome, man. This is like really, when I got this cab a little bit over a year ago, this is really what I was looking for. Like, you know, I was looking for a large selection, more modern platforms. Uh, hey. This thing is just, it's phenomenal, man. Again, this is early impressions. You know, I'll say this. First off, I'll tell you what. I'll start with PSP. That's up from about 60 games to 126 games. So you're looking at about... 66 more games over the Pi 400 bill that I was previously running. So this bill, the Lex bill includes 66 more PSP games. And when you go in this section, man, like just phenomenal game. First of all, before I get started, I wanna say this. Let's back up a little bit. Let me say this. First and foremost, when you get this bill, it includes an overclock. It's overclocked to 1950 megahertz compared to the stock megahertz of just 1500. And the graphics GPU has been overclocked to 700 megahertz versus like the stock 300. So like the performance of this overclock is phenomenal. I'm seeing like a lot of, of other games that were really struggling when the build was stock, running the stock speed, or even the previous overclock, which was just 700, 1750 megahertz and, and, and 500 GPU overclock. Games on a Saturn like Radiant Silver Gun were like, they run, but it was running slow at certain points. It runs much better. It's still not perfect. Saturn is very hard to emulate. I mention that a lot, but it's cleaned a lot of Saturn and N64 stuff up. So this is pretty much the highest overclock that you can run on the Pi 4 without causing artifacts and other inconsistencies. This is pretty much normally maxing it out for a normal setup. So hey the performance is phenomenal like i'm really impressed how well these games are running i mean the the pie is the size of a credit card guys so i mean the fact that it's emulating this stuff is is pretty incredible all right on to some of the games all right psp like i said it's an update of about this has an additional 66 psp games so that's a big update now uh Tons of new games have been added. Like, 
Blaze Blue was on here before, but both of the sequels, uh, Continuous Shift and Continuous Shift Extend, have been added. And hey, man, Blaze Blue Continuous Shift Extend is one of the great Arc System fighting games. Like, I mean, hey, it's this is it's phenomenal, man. Like, this is one of the Arc System Works best games. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Guilty Gear, if you, and if you uh, follow my page, you already know that. I haven't talked much about Blaze Blue, and that's primarily been because it hasn't been on any other build that I've tested. Um, so, when I got the 400 build last time, it did have the original Blaze Blue, which uh, I touched on a bit, but Continuing Shift Extend... Hey, it's a phenomenal fighting game, man. So, let's take a quick look at it. PSP games look phenomenal on this build. Like I said, load times are pretty much non-existent. Like, look at that. And see, the thing that's so cool about this, guys, is that when you get into games like Tekken 6 and Blaze Blue Continuum Shift, these are basically PS3 games, man, that we're getting here. Like, these games came out on near like the later end stage of PSP. And like at that time, a lot of PS3 games were being ported over. So, you know, games like Blaze Blue Tekken 3. Hey, man, and, like, they look phenomenal. Like, for the most part, these games look beyond PS2. So, like, all the animations there, I played the PS2 version of this game. I mean, the PS3 version of this game. I own the PS3 version of this game, actually. And, uh, hey, this is an outstanding port of this game, man. Like, phenomenal fighting game. Phenomenal animation. Background details are phenomenal. make that short but I just wanted to do a quick show off of that one of my favorite fight games anyway I ain't gonna waste too much time on that but uh yeah Blaze Blue has been added uh six Bleach Heat the Soul games have been added uh Bleach Soul Soul 2, 3 5 and 7 and um hey man Phenomenal games. Great, great fighting games. I'm going to show those off soon. Seven is like a tag fighter where you can play four players at once. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Final Fantasy Dissidia fighting game has been added. That's really cool. 3D uh, arena melee based fighting game. Very, very cool. Uh, Hey, uh, Ghost in the Shell has been added. 
phenomenal game. Uh, God of War, the Ghost of Sparta has been added. Um, Guilty Gear XS Accent Core Plus have been added. This was the last version of Guilty Gear Double X. This was like pretty much the definitive version, the plus. And um, hey, the fact that this is on this cabinet is, is phenomenal, man. Oh yeah, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 has been added. That's a big game. Uh, both Metal Gear Solids, Peace, Peace Walker, Portable Ops have been added. Metal Slug 7, which is Double X, has been added. Dude, so much stuff has been added to this. Need for Speed Carbon on the city has been added. Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. Fantasy Star Portable Collection has been added. R-Type Tactics. Resistance Retribution has been added. Hey, I'm a big fan of the Resistance games. Uh, first person shooters from the uh, PlayStation 3 era, I wanna say. Uh, fantastic games. So yeah, Resistance was really cool. So this is definitely worth checking out. Man, the PSP section is phenomenal. Sonic Rivals. Uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Phenomenal game. Alpha 3 Max, which was the last like definitive version of Alpha 3, it even has some Street Fighter 3 characters in it, like, hey, phenomenal uh, port of that game too. Uh, all three Siphon Filter games are now included, uh, Combat Ops, uh, it was uh, Dark Mirror, I actually had this on PSP too back in the day, phenomenal game, uh, Logan Shadow. Hey, phenomenal PSP game here. Tekken 6. Uh, I've checked this out. It runs phenomenal. Looks amazing. Runs smooth. No issues. It was really pushing the power of PSP. This was basically a PS3 game on, on PSP. On PSP, not PS Vita. So, hey, just phenomenal, man, that it runs and works on this cabinet so well. Tekken Dark Resurrection, which was kind of an update to, uh, to, it was an update for Tekken 5, so this was a big game, so definitely check that out too, big fan of Tekken. Uh, Test Drive Unlimited, Twisted, Twisted Metal Heads On was, was included too. Uh, Virtua Tennis World Tour is included. Yeah, man. So, big, big, big updates there in the PSP section. Uh, Saturn. Um, tons of new games was added. Uh, Burning Rangers. Um, Golden Axe, The Duel. Uh, Groove on Fight, uh, House of the Dead. Some of these Saturn games still has issues though. Hyper Duel was added. Hey man, phenomenal 2D shooter here. The Last Bronx. Like I said, Radiant Silver Guns Rise, it runs way better. 
Uh, Terra Diver was added. Phenomenal. One of the great 2D shooters ever right here. Uh, Virtual Cop, Virtual Fighter, Virtual Fighter 2, Virtual Fighter Remix. Uh, Virtual Arm was added. So the Saturn games went up probably about about 30 games. So that was great. Um, let's go back the other way. Now some Naomi games were added too. He actually included like the Project Justice version. Uh, arcade version and not just the Dreamcast version is included now. Uh, Out Trigger. A lot of update, updated games in the Naomi section. Both the virtual tennis are in here. So a lot of updates there. Uh, Nintendo DS, that went up a lot. Tons of new games added there. The Advanced Wars games are here. Uh, he included both the Bleach fighting games, the Dark Soul and the Blade of Fate. Hey man, just phenomenal. Dude, there's like, to be honest with you guys, there are like so many new games added here. I haven't even had a chance to test everything out. These are just very early impressions. Oh yeah, let me tell you about the PlayStation 1 before I get out of here. Yeah, this has been updated a lot. He's added a whole lot of PS1 games. Um, hey, just tons of new games have been added to PS1. Ready to Rumble, uh, Total 2 is already here. Uh, Xanax Time, Xanax has been added. Uh, X Men Mutant Academy have been added. Um, Vigilante 8, Second Offense. All the Twisted Metal games, the Tomb Raider games. Um, of course, the Tekken games were here. Pretty much all of the Street Fighter games from the PlayStation 1 era has been added. Uh, hey, man. Terra Diver, the PlayStation version of Terra Diver, Silhouette Mirage. For those who don't know, uh, Treasure made Silhouette, Silhouette with Mirage before Ikaruga, and that color changing uh, Bullet Absorb games for switching uh, weapons, they kind of implemented and started that system with Silhouette Mirage first. And then they kind of converted that to use in a 2D shooter for Ikaruga. I'll have to give a breakdown of Silhouette with Mirage uh, pretty soon. But yeah, man, Ridge, Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer Revolution. Just, hey, phenomenal, man. Ray Crisis, Ray Storm. Great 2D shooters, 3D 2D shooters. Rapid Reload, Rage Racer is on here, R-Type Delta. Hey guys, this build is phenomenal. Go get it. If, if you're running an arcade gas system and you have Pi 4, man, go get this build. Like I've used um, the Wolfenos 256 Supreme image. I've used the Virtual Man 512. I've used all of the arcade guys' builds. Nothing competes with this pie base. To be honest, this puts up a legitimate fight with the hyperspin system I had. And that was like a seven whole seven terabyte system. That still had more variety, but this is phenomenal for what this costs and you know how easy this is to add to your cabinet. This build is a must for arcade gas cabinet. Any pipe-based setup or cabinet, period, 
hey, if you're looking to play tons of old school games and a ton, and I mean a ton of modern stuff, like pretty much up to the PS3 era, like, it, hey, it gets no better. I'm sure there's some other great builds out there, but this is actually accessible easy to get and you don't need to jump through a thousand different hoops trying to download or get something here or there it's super accessible and it's a direct swap so hey this is what we've been waiting for all along for this system that's why i put in the research uh work with uh nightlife and really got this thing done and hey it's phenomenal I'm very happy. I'm going to be doing a detailed breakdown of all the new games and showing off my favorite games, Blast Blue, uh, Terra Diver, uh, Shogun Rintai Terra Diver, uh, Tekken 6, Tekken Dark Resurrection, uh, oh yeah, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Shin Budokai is on here also in the PSP section. Hey, that's one of the great Dragon Ball games. I love the Budokai series. And uh, it's, it's very different from Fighter Z, which Arc System Works has been taking over and made it a little bit more very Guilty Gear-like as a 2D fighter. Budokai was a 3D fighter. I'm going to show it off next time. Phenomenal fighting game. Hey, 3X Lex out, and I'm going to get with you on the next one. Peace.